We're good. Thank you. Okay. The two embryonic structures that you have before you're born that you don't have after you're born are the hole in your heart, in which I have a pipe cleaner in so that you can kind of see. And if you look at it from the side, you can kind of see that hole. But before you're born, it's called the foramen ovale because foramen means hole. After you're born, pressure changes cause that wall to close, and it still has an indent like this, and it's called the fossa ovalis. So on a model, and this model is really good because it's indented. On the other model, it's just a color. You know, it's not indented or anything, but you can tell that it's in this wall between the two atria. Before you're born, that's a hole. The other structure that you have before you're born is really well shown on this model. And before you're born, there's an actual tube, a blood vessel that goes from the pulmonary trunk straight up into the aorta. And this is called the ductus, because it's a tube, a duct, arteriosum, before you're born. And then after you're born, because of pressure changes, this closes up and becomes a ligament. That's why they're showing it white here, because it's a ligament now, and it doesn't carry blood. It's called the ligamentum arteriosum. And the reason that you want to bypass this before you're born is because you don't really want to take the time for the blood to go to the lungs. We, we could, but we just don't want to take the time for that. Questions? Cool. Thank you.